Friday. We are working to keep COVID numbers in perspective for you. So much of the data is coming out, and it's having a direct on effect on the school districts. Now, while some districts are well into phasing back the student body for in-person instruction, others are holding off saying the data does not support a safe return. Channel 2 anchor Wendy Corona joins us now. And Wendy, one local district heard from parents remotely today. That's right, Carol. Parents and caregivers, they are heated on both sides of this argument. And today, DeKalb Schools Board heard from people who said their children need to return to in-person instruction, while others argued it's just not safe to do so. Our children are falling behind because of this board's and the administration's lack of leadership. John Carden and his wife Michelle virtually lobbied the DeKalb County Schools Board for a return to in-person learning. As they put it, tired of their children paying the price. We are requesting that the DeKalb County School Board provide an immediate in-person learning option. The probability for our children is, um, is incredibly low. Uh, higher is certainly for our teachers, our staff, and then us as parents. Mark Mearsman is the managing partner at IPC Global in Alpharetta and has tracked the data since the pandemic began. And while cases continue to rise in Georgia, IPC Global's charts show cases significantly down from our peak in July and now hovering slightly above the median for both Fulton and DeKalb counties. The district benchmark calls for less than 100 cases per 100,000 residents for 14 days for a safe return to in-person instruction. This DeKalb mother sided with safety. I myself happen to be high risk for COVID um, and I do not want to expose our family to this. But while schools in Cobb and Fulton counties have returned to the classroom, Mearsman offered. As we've seen for the schools that have already reopened, they are controlling it at a campus level and even in a classroom level. And in speaking with Mark Mearsman, he believes a possibly better gauge for a return to school may be incorporating a new case range per 100,000 since numbers will continue to fluctuate. And since we've also seen other counties manage to bring students back to in-person instruction successfully. Carol? Thanks, Wendy. And we wanted to know the risk to young people. So far, coronavirus has killed fewer children and teens.